Hey guys, this video is double value packed. I'll show you how to color grade your skin tone and also how to recover details right here in Photoshop. We'll be covering the full process from start to finish. And with no further ado, let's get started. So we are going to color grade this skin. Before we do that, let's quickly retouch the skin. If you need a very fast way to retouch your skin, you get the Autoface FS Action link is in the description. So if you come to the Autoface FS Action and you play the action, you choose the radius, that is how smooth you want your image to be. The higher the radius, the lesser the smoothness, the lower the radius, the higher the smoothness. So when you just click on OK, the Autoface FS Action will now smooth your image while retaining the skin texture. Here was the before and here is the after. If you get this autoface fs action and you need practice image you just write to me on my jimmy at slammyphotography.com and i'll send you this image to use for practice here was the before and here is the after it goes into your image and smooths it while retaining the skin texture you can see the before and after let's zoom in closely here was the before and here is the after here was the before and here is the after here was before and here is the after. So generally here was before applying the autofix FS action and here is after applying the autofix FS action. It's a one click Photoshop action that automatically retouch your image. It's super fast. You can get it with the link in the description. Once we are done with the skin retouching, we're going to dodge and burn the image so that the skin tone will pop and look more amazing. So if you come to layer, new layer, and I'll create a layer. Change the mode to overlay, fill with overlay neutral color, now click on OK. Duplicate the background into two, name this Born, and then you name this Dodge. While on the Dodge, you come to the channels, click on load channel selection, come back to the layer, while on the Dodge, take your brush, make sure the opacity is 100, and make sure the flow is just 10. Reduce the flow to 10. Now make sure your foreground is white, resize. This selection is now showing where it should be brighter. It goes to select the brighter tone. So you now paint over the bright tone to boost the brightness of the bright areas. So you just brush over the areas like this. Now let's deselect and take a look at the before and the after. Here was before and here is after. Now come to the bone, click on the channel again. Now come to select and inverse the selection. Take your brush, this time make sure the foreground is black. And now you paint over areas that should be darkened. Now those are the areas within the selection. You can contour to increase the blush here. You contour, you paint over the nose area, paint under the cheek and paint on this area. You contour the nose as well, just like this. Avoid these selections that you've brightened and paint in the opposite selections, just like this. So now if you deselect, you can see here was the before and here's the after. Here was the before and here's the after. While on the bone, come to filter, blow, Gaussian blow, and then you blow all the way to the radius of 420. Now here was the before and here is the after. Come to the dodge and do the same you blow, but using a different blow radius. I'm going to blow with just 60. Now click on OK. Here was the before and here is the after. If you zoom in, you can see the bright area is now looking more bright and the bone is also looking more bone. That's added three dimensionality to this image and make it pop and look more three dimensional. So here was the before and here is the after. You can turn down the opacity if you like and rename it dodge and burn. So here was the before and here is the after. The next thing we are going to do, we are going to create a solid color adjustment. And right here in the solid color adjustment, we are going to type in this hair code to color grade the skin tone. We use the hair code of 9A502A. Now you click on OK. Change the blend mode to soft light. Reduce the opacity all the way to 40. 
Now this warm tone is being applied all over the image. If you want it to be applied only to the skin, you come to the layer mask and Ctrl I to remove the effect, the color grading effect from the image. You can press com Command I if you are using a Mac, Ctrl I if you are using a PC to invert the layer marks. Now take your brush, make sure the foreground is white and I'm bent only on the skin area like this to review the effect. Increase your flow so that you can paint faster, just like this. So if you press the forward slash key, you see the overlay, the red overlays we have been maxed. And when you paint out the red overlays, the areas that have been reviewed are the areas that the effects of the layer have been applied to. So you can see here was before and here is after. This is a very fast way to color grade your skin tone and enrich the skin color. You can see here was before and here is after. It's super easy to do as you can see. If you already like this effect, please like this video already and leave a fire emoji in the comment section. There's still a lot we are going to achieve in this tutorial. You are going to learn a whole lot. So like this video right now and also subscribe if you are not already a subscriber because we're putting out more helpful tip, tricks and photography tutorials. So here was the before and here is the after. Our image is looking already super amazing. You can see the general before and the after. Don't forget how we got this beautiful skin retouching. We did that using the auto fix FS action. So to get the action, you can check the link in the description. So you can see how we collaborated the skin tone. Here was the before and here is the after. Right now we are going to create a stamp visible layer with Ctrl Shift Alternate E. If you are using a Mac, you press Command Option Shift E to create a stamp visible layer. We name this texture because we are going to use this layer to boost the skin texture. So come to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. Right here in the Camera Raw Filter, we are going to come to the Effects. We are going to increase the grain all the way to 100, like this. Increase the grain. Now we are going to increase the grain size, like this. Adjust the radius of this grain. So you see before applying the green, and you can see after it's already coming out good. I'm going to increase the texture as well. A little bit of the clarity. We are now going to come to the color. We are going to boost the temperature a little bit to make the skin tone look more warm. And the tint, we can adjust the tint, move it to the right to see which color grading comes out better. We are just going to add plus three like this. We're now going to come to the detail section. I'm going to boost the sharpening, increase the radius of the sharpening, just like this. So you can see the before applying the skin texture effect, and you can see the after. So we are going to click on OK right now to come back into Photoshop. Now we are going to reduce the opacity so that the effect is not too much and doesn't look too artificial. Now we are going to add a layer max and we are going to apply this only to the skin. So we inverse the layer max. Take our brush, make sure the foreground is white. And I'll paint only on the skin to review the effect of the boosted skin texture. So anytime you do your frequency separation or any way you retouch your image to smoothen it and you need to bring back skin texture, you can see the easy way we just used to do that. So you can see the before applying the skin texture effect and you can see the after. Let's zoom in closely. You can see the before and you can see that after it has boosted the skin texture. It has boosted the details in the skin and make it look more realistic. And you can see this effect is super realistic and very easy to do. If you haven't liked this video, please like this video right now. The next thing we are going to do to boost the contrast, we are going to add a levels adjustment and we are going to increase the whites like this and now I'm going to bring back some black into the image. See before and after. These are tiny adjustments that brings more details, more contrast, more drama to the skin and make everything look more superb. So you can also create a selective color adjustment to use to tone the skin color if you want. I'm not going to do that for this image. I'm just showing you that the selective color can always be used to change the skin tone so that you can now move it to something that you might like we are not using that for this particular image because i really like the effect you are already getting i can see that we enrich the skin tone using just this layer let's name it skin tone 
booster so we use a skin tone booster adjustment to enrich the skin tone and we took it from looking like this to looking like this i also did a simple dodge and burn you can see this dodge and burn technique is super easy so you can start using it on your skin and don't forget how we got this beautiful and amazing skin smoothening effect we use the auto face fs action like i told you you can get it with the link in the description and it's just one dollar with just one dollar contribution to the channel you get the auto fix fs action and once you get it you can request for a practice image you can just email me at slammyphotography at gmail.com to get a practice image for absolutely free that you can use to practice your auto fix fs action once you get it with the link in the description also if you are finding it difficult to get the auto fix fx action you can send me a dm on instagram at slammy photography underscore you can see the handle right below the video so you can send me a dm so that we can get the auto fix fx action asap if you are finding it difficult to get so you can see that our image is now looking beautiful to whiten the eye we use the eye white action you just play the action take your brush reduce the brush size and then paint on the eye to make it look more white so that remove any tone or any brownish or reddish effect on the eye to make the image look more beautiful so here was the general before and here is the after i hope you've learned something new and amazing and also you can also go on to add your lots i've several lots free lots on my website link is also in the description so you can add your lot to see how it can affect your skin tone. To add lots, you see, you just create and I'll apply the lot. So you see, this is a dark skin tone lot, and this is the effect it has on the image. This is the before and the after. You can reduce your opacity. So you can get free skin tone lot on my website. Link is also in the description. So just read through the description to see the link to get the dark skin tone lot or any other free skin tone lot on my website. To apply skin tone lot, like I just demonstrated, you create a color lookup and load the color lookup. And I'll go to the folder where your skin tone lots are and then try to load and see the one that works best for your image. There are different skin tone lots for different skin tone. So you can load the different skin tone lots on your image and see the one that works best. So check the link in the description to get to the website where you can get to the skin tone lot for free. And you can also get the premium version. So, here was the before, and here is the after. If you found this tutorial helpful, please let me know in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. And for those of you that have watched to this point and have not liked this video, please like my video. Please like the video. It helps to increase the reach of the video, which is super useful to the channel. It helps in growing the channel. So, like this video right now. Leave a fire emoji in the comment section. Leave your feedback in the comment section. Subscribe for more helpful tips, tricks, and photography tutorials. Happy to be part of a creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.